Ever wanted to have an aircraft model that you just can't overlook because of its bright color? Well, you are in luck because we have one right in front of us. And we will take a closer look at it thanks to the great prizes of the FMB shop, so do check them out. A link to them is in the video description below. And with that alone, welcome to a new episode of Review, where we today will take a closer look at an Airbus A320neo of Spirit Airlines. At the front of the box we have a cutout, so we can get a glimpse of the aircraft model inside, and on top of the box we do have the Spirit Airlines branding. The back side of the box unfortunately continues with Hapa's dreadful box design, so let's not waste any more time on that and focus on the aircraft model inside. And here she is, the Airbus A320neo in the current standard livery of Spirit Airlines. A US ultra low coster, mostly known for its service or lack of service, and of course for their very bright livery. In 2022, Herpa Wings surprised most of us collectors with an A319 of Spirit Airlines, and now in 2024, we do get the A320neo. So how does the model do, and is it worth our money and time? There's only one way to find out, by checking it out and taking a closer look at it, starting off with the tail section, where we have the vertical stabilizer, have the Spirit writing or branding. Then on the fuselage, we have the full registration code of the aircraft, the flag of the United States of America, and an internal registration code of the airline. Towards the very tail of the aircraft, we then also find a bit of detailing around the APU exhaust, and on top of the fuselage, we have the addition of a set dome. And while Herpa is seriously inconsistent with their set domes, in this case, I would say they have placed it correctly, and it is also correctly sized. What a relief. At the front of the aircraft and across the fuselage, we of course have the Spirit branding. We have a little logo next to the front cabin door, which I'm not entirely sure what that is about. It could be referencing to Wi-Fi on board. If you know what this is exactly, then please feel free to let us know in the comment section below. But apart from that, we do find some static boards that have been printed on. That's quite nice. And underneath the cockpit windows, we have the aircraft type specification, and that of course leads straight to the cockpit section itself where we have the cockpit windows and the window wipers printed on. But moving on from the cockpit, let's take a look at the engine nacelles. They have been kept in the same yellow as we also find on the fuselage. Do have the spirit.com branding, the silver leading edge as well as safety markings printed on, so that is quite lovely. Also the physical detailing of these engines is really quite brilliant from Happy Wings, at least in my opinion especially here from the front, very, very nice. You can see the engine fan blades. And then on the fuselage, just above the wings, we do have the emergency exits printed on, and that leads us straight to the wings, which we should also take a closer look at, starting off with the top side, where we have the different flaps, slats, and spoilers carved out quite nicely. We have some different shades of gray for additional detailing and the markings for the emergency exits printed on as well. The underside of the wings offers more nice physical detailing. And then, of course, the A320neo has these lovely winglets with the uh, yellow of Spirit Airlines and some writing here on the inner side. However, with all A320 aircraft models from Hapa Wings that come with these winglets, Hapa has been very inconsistent over the recent years, so you do need to check every single aircraft model. Unfortunately, in this case, I would say they have done quite well, but as I say, this needs to be checked with every single aircraft model from the A320 family. The landing gear is another point where Harper is fairly consistent with the A320 family aircraft and we can see the main landing gear looking fine. The front landing gear, however, as always, very much oversized and lacking printed details. So that is, as usual, a disappointment. Then we have a hole in the fuselage here on the belly of the aircraft for a stand that is not included with this aircraft model, but it doesn't destroy any printed details, so at least that. And then finally, we do also have the doors to the cargo compartments printed on here at the back of the aircraft and also here at the front of the aircraft. So there we have it, the Airbus A320 Neo in the current standard delivery of Spirit Airlines from Hapa Wings and Scale 1 to 500. And what can we say about this aircraft model? Now, of course, this model will not fit in everyone's collection, but I think at least for those North American collectors and anyone who would like to have a really colorful aircraft in their collection, this is a perfect match. Now, obviously, the model does still suffer from some of the usual Harper nonsense. So we have a slightly dodgy cockpit shape and we have a massively oversized front landing gear and a hole in the fuselage for a stand that is not included with this aircraft model. But on the positive side, we have a set dome that this time is not just placed correctly, but also correctly sized. We have the as 
pretty much usually really nicely detailed the wings on the a320 and overall i think it is a fairly solid scale 500 aircraft model from hap wings still loads of areas where they could and should improve but for their current standard this is for sure not one of the worst models they have released so what do you think about this aircraft model let me know in the comment section below and with that we have reached the end of today's episode if you have enjoyed it feel free to leave a like and if you're new around here why not hit subscribe with that thanks so much for watching hope to see you soon again i'm checking out and bye <laughs>